The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. Boy, oh boy, a long day today, man. Long day today. We got we we got lots to unpack in this episode right here, man. It it was just it, it was just wild. And I don't know what to make of it though. For real. I, I really don't. I, I don't know what to make of this. And to be honest with you, I, I don't know if this is a representative of the company. But I don't I don't know. I don't know. There's there's so many Kool-Aid drinkers. Hey. Huh? Oh, hey. You're the Kool-Aid guy. Yeah. What are you doing? Just waiting. For what? I'm just waiting, dude. Relax. Out there that's that is it's it's mind boggling. So I'm gonna start off the episode by saying what's going on, guys. How y'all feeling tonight? Thank you very much for listening. Now, this is a night episode. Is is I just got finished pulling in, uh, set yeah. shut down for the night, and this been on my mind all day since this morning. So let me tell you how 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 the day started. Hear the music. So I'm driving, minding my own business, cruising down the highway. And all of a sudden, my channel number starts to ring. Okay. I, I don't answer my channel number. Well, you guys should already know that the channel number is a text line only. But since I'm driving, I can't answer the text. So phone rings again. And again. One more time. <laughs> so whoever this person is, is literally blowing me up this morning. This this is this morning now. This is this morning. This is, I, I, I can't remember offhand what time it was. Yeah, not, it was around 9 o'clock in the morning, like before breakfast. You know what I'm saying? So this person is literally hitting me up like blowing up my phone like about three four five times starting at nine o'clock in the morning so i'm like okay i'm i'm driving so i really can't answer the phone but when i get a chance at a red light i grab my phone and i type in i say Who? who's this guy so they call again i'm like okay so before the light turns green, I hit. Who's this guy? Like, who's who's this trying to get up with me? What's what's up? What's going on? So they text and it goes. Are you from Russia? And you saying for all American company from Illinois that they are from Russia. It continues. You are liar and you are fake and I will collect all people there to report your channel. So I'm going like, all right, who who's this guy? And what are you talking about? Like. Like, what are you talking about, bro? So there's a lot to unpack here. Then I get two more calls. When I get the chance, I respond to the guy. I says, sorry, no, I'm not from Russia, dot, 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 LOL. I'm from the good old United States, born, bred, and raised here. So no, I'm not from Russia. And it's like, you asking me if I'm from Russia? Like, oh, okay. So the part that really touched me was the fact that he says that I'm a liar and I'm a fake. And I'm like, in the back of my head, I'm going like, oh, 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 what I'm lying about? Like, what, what are you talking about, sir? Like, what are you talking about? So he sends me a screenshot of, I, I guess, of him trying to copy, copyright my channel. So I'm looking at it and they trying to figure it out, I guess. I, I don't know what they're trying to do. But in the caption, it says, what is the title of the copyrighted protected work at issue? And in the box, he types or they type, company is not Russian. He cannot call USA. And that's it. Hey, I'm, I'm still tripping on this. So he comes back and he says, I will not stop until you are down. I, I come back and I say, what do we have to lie about? Like, what, what do we have to lie about? What do we gain in lying about a black ops company for? What, what do we have to lie about? So he comes back, he says, 1,000 complain. I will do to drip 
your channel because you are a racist. And of course, mispronunciations, misspellings. He spelled racist, R-A-S-I-S-T. And then drip, I'm, I'm assuming that's supposed to be drop. And then he spelled channel wrong as well. So he goes on to say, You are a liar and you are fake and I will collect all people there to report your channel. We are not Russian and you cannot call us Russian in your videos. You need to make sure what you post. I not complain about your post that is fine, I don't care, but you can't talk like we are Russian. That we not accepting. And I'm still, I'm still reading this like, I'm trying to put the words together because it's, it's, it's just discombobulated right now. And I'm like, I'm like, okay. Now, let me just stop the show for a minute. Now, I don't believe that I call any companies Russian. I know a lot of the guests that comes on the show that, that chop it up with me. I know they, they refer to a lot of companies out of Illinois, Russian, Siberia, Middle Eastern, foreign period. Me, I coined the phrase, Black Ops Boys. And that's what I call those type of companies. I, I call them Black Op companies. I, they're foreign owned companies. I call them Black Ops. I, I don't recall ever actually calling a particular company Russian. And if I did, I apologize. I apologize. My bad. But my coin phrase is Black Ops Boys. So the other part that, that touched me, that he called me a racist. I'm far from racist, bruh. What? Racist? Like, I'm, I'm racist against Russians or, or racist against other ethnicities? No, I'm far from that. No, I, I don't condone racism. Even though I know racism exists, it 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 it, it exists. I, I'll be stupid to say that it doesn't. But me as a racist, like no, bro, no. I'm I'm cool with just about everybody, and I had just about everybody on my channel. I had foreign people on my channel that I talked to, blacks, whites, Mexicans. So yeah, I'm I'm far from racist. But that that kind of touched me. Already, you coming with the hostility and all this aggression. Like, wait a minute, who are you? Are you a representative of controversial company? Because if you are, you doing it the wrong way, bruh. You're doing it the wrong way. See, that's why I can't take any of this right here in account. Because usually if this was like legitimate, it would be in the email, okay? It would not be in, in a half-hearted, misobulated text message from a burner phone, which I know that this is. I know this is a burner phone. I, I come back and I said, oh. Okay, so what company are you talking about? Because we have many guests on that talks about Russian companies. So to be clear, I mean are not saying that all trucking companies in IL and in parts of the US are Russian owned. Sorry you feel offended. But if you was to let us know the company you're referring to, then I will make the correction to my guest next time I talk to him in reference to the company that you're talking about. So he comes down and says, can I call you? So of course I'm, I'm still driving. So as soon as I get to uh, the pullover or to check the messages, he comes back and says something else. And I say, calling is not a problem. What's your name? and the topic of discussion. Cause I'm, I'm not going to talk to somebody that I don't know who, who I'm talking to. So what's your name? I asked that in the beginning of the text as well. Like, what's your name? Like, wait a minute, who are you? He comes back and he says, nothing. Just forget about that. We already chose other way to remove video. What making our company bad. And we going to find way about things. When you say that all people know what you think. See what I'm saying? <laughs> and the mispronunciations, it's hard to read this text. It they goes on to say that We are not racist company. Everybody in company black, white, yellow, all people are welcome and we all know what you mean with your message in video. Well, number one, you need to tell me which video you're talking about because there's plenty of videos on here. I have conversations with many walks of life. Black, white, yellow, Mexican, foreign, all of them, all of them. I have talked to them. Some had successes, others had problems. 
more so of the problems than successes. So what video are you talking about? And what message I'm trying to convey? I'm not trying to convey any messages that's not already out there, if that's the case. So he goes on to say, you make our company very unprofessional and people think that we are Russian and black people think that we are racist because you make yourself strong to talk that way about our company. Well, let me just stop you right there, okay? When it comes to- From Russia. And people saying Russian, that's just a reference. That's what I'm just thinking. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's to be true or not, but that's just a reference that a lot of people use when they are referring to black op companies in Illinois. Because a lot of people know that maybe about 50 to 60 to 70 percent of the companies out there, one of the ownerships are Russian. So I guess when people refer to companies that is out in Illinois, they say something like, like them Russian-owned companies out in Illinois, and then they'll they'll put a particular company name in association with that. So I don't know if you're Russian-owned or not. Again, I, I don't recall ever saying that y'all work. I just said that y'all black, black ops boys company. And my meaning of black ops is foreign-owned companies. But how am I talking strong about the company? I, I got plenty of guests that comes on to the channel and share their experience with said company. A lot of them. Even a couple of guys that's, that says that they're making money and they're being successful with the company. I had them on too. But let me just stop the show one more time. What, what do you mean me? Like, I, I make your company unprofessional and in a bad light. Well, let's rewind the clock back some years. Let's let's go back to 2020. Maybe maybe, a, maybe 2019, okay? When I first came across the company, I made a MTC because somebody suggested it. At that time, you guys was looking for two-year experience and the conversation was a good conversation. You guys was telling what you guys offer, what kind of trucks, everything. Sounds like a beautiful company. And I said, hey, anybody interested? Go, give them a call. But then the BS started to happen. The reviews started to come out. The videos started to come out. The Facebook groups started popping up about said company. Well, this company is this, allegedly that they manipulate the laws, allegedly they're not paying their drivers, allegedly that they're stranding drivers, allegedly turning off the fuel cards, allegedly. So way before I started blowing up with everybody that's coming to the platform to share their experience with the company, you guys been in a bad light for years. Not to mention the, the 2022 lawsuit. Not to mention the many other lawsuits that's against the company. How am I, a channel that don't even have that many subscribers, how am I putting your company in a bad light? Unprofessional. My channel is making drivers think that you're racist and you don't like black people which I would probably say about 75% of your workforce over there is black. So explain that to me. 75% of your workforce over there is black and the rest is others. You do have a, a popular black guy. So how is my channel making other people, blacks in particular, think that, think that you're racist against black people? Explain that to me. So I go back and I say, hmm. Hum, okay. So I'm not racist either, but you made it a point in your text to me. You made this a racial issue. You said it, I didn't. You called me a racist. So you played the race card with me, okay? Number one, you don't even know me personally. It's like, I don't know you or whoever you are. You could be a bot for all I know. I say, So again, we have plenty of guests on the podcast that talks of their experiences with foreign owned trucking companies. Rather it's good or bad, that's their experiences. There's plenty of social media content about all trucking companies, not just yours. 
but calling me something that I'm not and making this into a racial issue in my opinion is very unprofessional of you. And you supposed to be a representative of the company? That's why when I was thinking about this throughout the day, that's why I'm like, well, this must be a troll. Somebody said that in the comments, by the way. This must be a troll. This must be a Kool-Aid drinker. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Or somebody that's that's trying to ruffle some feathers, which is not working. But hey, do you. OK, but I say. But it's OK, dot, dot, dot again. I'm sorry if you feel offended by what the drivers have to say. So he comes back and he says, I am not about drivers. I feel offended what you say and how you work with comment you making people's to talk bad about company. Let me stop you right there. We don't make people. We don't make people do nothing. No, we, we don't make people do nothing. I, I come back and respond to that. So let me continue. It goes on to say, You are the one who like all bad review and making people to talk bad. And I'll start from the video where you make fun of our name. I call it how I see it. I, I don't think I'm making fun of controversial company. I, I call it like I see it because the company is controversial. You guys are in a lot of controversial topics. Controversial company. My fault if you feel that I'm making fun of that, which, which I'm not. But controversial though. You guys are. You guys is in a lot of controversial topics, a controversial issue. You guys are controversial right now. And y'all been controversial. So I, I don't think I'm making fun. They're a controversial company. Okay. It's Where you say that you think that company dot 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 black dot dot dot. And like everybody know what are you talking so nobody is not stupid way how. You want to grow your channel and make money on our back and putting our reputation down. Okay, so let me stop you right there, okay? Again, you might wanna proofread all of your tests, bro. You, you might wanna do that because it's just painful to read right now, okay? It's, it's painful to read. You, you might wanna proofread before you hit that send button, okay? I, I, I'm not, maybe you just typing too fast, the spell check. You might wanna just go back over it before you hit send. All right, so let me go back up and revert to what you wanted to say, okay? So what you're trying to say is that everybody knows what I'm talking about. Well, yeah, everybody knows what I'm talking, what company I'm talking about when I mention controversial company. Everybody knows that, okay? Everybody knows that. Now, I don't know what black people got to do with that, okay? But when you turn around and say, how you want to grow your channel. Well, let me just stop you right there. My, my channel been growing, bro. I, I've been on YouTube for a long time, my guy. Since the 2000s. Since the early beginnings of YouTube, man. I got plenty of viral videos that grew my channel. I got over 4 million views on the channel, okay? And that was way before you guys became a topic of discussion. So, no, my, my channel don't just grow because of the, of the topic of discussion. No, my channel been growing, bro. Obviously, you, you, you must not follow the channel. You, you just want to follow what you want to follow. I, I get you. I understand. The channel got over a gang of videos. The binge watch the whole channel. It's going to take you maybe about a couple of years or so. That, that's, how, that's, that's how much content I have on that channel. And I don't just talk about that company, but I have guests that comes on and talk about other companies as well. We also talk about mainstream companies, the mega carriers. We talk about them. So your company is not the only, only company that we talk about. And my channel is not growing because of that. My channel is growing because of the type of content that I put on there, not just controversial company. But we talk about a lot of black ops companies, not just yours. We talk about lifestyle stuff. We give tips. We, we do advices. We do commentary, bruh. So no, and, and making money, come on now, we, come on. 
You're trying to make me a millionaire over here that I'm making all this money. I ain't making shit off of YouTube, bruh. I'm, I'm not that fortunate. I can't just up and quit a trucking company and, and put all my time and effort into my YouTube channel like other YouTubers do. I can't do it. I, I got to work. I got bills to pay. I can't just rely on YouTube to pay the bills. We're, we're not that big. We don't have over 5k subscribers. We we don't have all of that. We got to work. We got to drive. We got to get up every morning and get this load delivered. That's what we got to do. So I come back and I say, "We don't make people do anything, sir. These drivers share their experiences under their own feel will." These testimonials are from blacks, whites, men, and women. This is what you might want to call freedom of speech because we do have that over here in the United States of America, which is a free will company, free will state, continent, country. I don't know if it works in there, but yeah, we got all of that over here. Now, across the water and everything else, I, I don't know how your laws is over there. And quite frankly, I honestly don't want to know. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider okay y'all got two options well one but two options you can either subscribe for the channel for more and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show I've seen way too many abroad videos that people get hemmed up just, just for hollering on the streets, okay? So I, I don't want none of that smoke. I'm good right here in the good old United States on free land, okay? You might want to look that up, I'm just saying. But I said it's- But as far as your reputation, well, I don't think our channel has anything to do about that. All you have to do is just type the company name in the Google search, in the Facebook, or in any other social media outlets. And the result of your reputation, including all of the lawsuits that your guys is currently in, will be in full view and is public. I said that in a few videos. But I appreciate the text and wish you guys success. So let me just say that I don't have a problem with none of the black ops companies. I just see that a lot of them has done drivers wrong, allegedly. Drivers come on, they have a platform to come on to vent, to share their experience, to talk about the, the things that happen to them. Allegedly, they don't get paid. Allegedly, they get stranded. Allegedly, they get kicked out of the truck. So I don't know, man. I don't know. In, in my community post, I let my community know about the conversation that I have with you. And in one particular comment, I, I don't know if it's that person, but they came back in the in the, in the comment on the post that said, and again, you you might want to spell check and proofread, my guy. Jeez, do that before you hit send. So I don't know the name drag dragon. Somebody don't know, don't care. Probably a bot. I don't know. But he comments and says. To talk about your company, Lockout Men, post your company here and let's see what people are going to say. People are going to smile of you. Don't you mean make fun of me? So let me just stop you right there. I don't have a company to talk about. I'm not an owner operator. I don't have aspirations of being an owner operator. Okay. Now, if I was an owner operator and I was doing the, the, the kind of things that the black ops companies was treating their drivers, I am damn sure that a lot of people would come and say that. I'm sure they would. They will come and express their opinion 
They will come and express their advice. They will come express their displeasures. And they will come and express their experience. If I was to have a company that did drivers like that, and that would be totally understandable because the way the drivers are being treated with them black op companies, it's totally dirty. So it goes on to say, because you lie, it said, because you lie and you talking drivers who put reviews here, what, what do I got to lie about? And then to finish off, he says, your channel is fake. Okay, sir. So let me ask you this. What's, what's fake about the channel? Because this is the second time you said that. What is, what is fake about the channel? What is fake about the channel? Our, our channel are with real people with real testimonials and real problems with the company. So what's fake about that? We we don't charge for people to come on to talk about the company. We we don't pay for testimonials. So what is fake about that? These is real people that comes on and express their either opinions or their feelings or their experience with the company. What is fake about that? So you telling me they're fake? Maybe okay i i don't know some of some of who i have talked to i got receipts or a majority of them that actually says that has physical physical proof of them driving for the company and i do have that so what's fake about the channel explain that because like i said you you said it twice and that's i i guess that's all that you're lingering on is fake what's there's nothing fake about the channel sir the channel got real people with real problems. And where's the lie? That's that's another thing you said. We lie. What, what, what do I got to lie about? Why, why do I got to come on the internet to lie about any black ops companies? Why? What, what do I got to gain out of that? Explain that to me. What do I have to gain in lying about a company? And yes, people come on here and share their reviews about the company. But where's the lie though? And the information about the company is out there. It's out there in reviews, Facebook groups, in the news, and oh, don't forget the lawsuits, and it's all public. Where's the lie and where's the truth? When it hasn't been spoken yet. Where's the lie at, my man? Real people, real testimonials, real problems with the company. It's just that we give them a platform for them to vent. Look, listen, okay, listen. I don't think there would be so many frustrated or disgruntled drivers if they wasn't being treated so unfairly and so dirty. Let's let's talk about that, sir. Let's talk about that. I, I talked to a driver that had his truck stripped from him while he was in the hospital having his firstborn baby. Somebody came on the property, took the truck back, without even letting him know that they was coming to take the truck. And now all of his prized possessions that was on the truck, he couldn't find. He called up us, we had a conversation, and we was on the phone with him when he was trying to find where the truck at so he can come and retrieve his belongings. Where's the lie? Where's the lie, bruh? Or how about drivers abandoning your trucks? just about in all four corners of the world and, and you paying drivers allegedly to go and get them or how about this how about the one recovery driver that i had talked to that sent me pictures of what the trucks look like and the conditions of them or how about stranding the driver and not giving him his 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 settlement and he had to sh literally strip the strip the truck in order to get compensated Where's the lie? Where's the lie, sir? Or how about a quote unquote recruiter driver that worked that drove for you guys? Y'all brought y'all brought them in allegedly. Things didn't work out and y'all called them back to come back and work for you guys because of reasons. Where's the lie, sir? Or how about turning off the fuel cart so that the driver won't be able to get back home after they told you allegedly that they need to get back home for again reasons now look guys i don't drive for the company i don't drive for the company i don't need to drive for the company i don't want to drive for the company okay because again like me you mess with my money i'm gonna have a problem 
I'm going to have a problem. I'm not going to sit there and beg and give you guys ample opportunities to keep screwing me over. I'm not going to do that. And you turn off the fuel car so I won't be able to get home. I will get me home, sir. I will get me home. I don't need you to get me home. I will get me home. See, it's just unfortunate that a lot of drivers in in down and out situations that need you. I'm not a SAP driver. My license is clean. I can bounce from company to company with the experience that I got. I can do that. I'm not down and out. I could take months off if I want to, bruh. I don't need to come and drive for, for a company that allegedly do drivers dirty. I don't need that. I don't need to get stranded. I don't need to be in a situation. I don't need to strip the truck. I got it. And I, I will concentrate on me to not be in that position. But again, a lot of drivers that is down and out, that's in the SAP program, and, and for whatever other reasons, they... You need people like me. And that's allegedly why you take advantage of them. Allegedly. Is it fair? I don't think so. Is it right? I don't think so. But do they have any other options? No, they don't. Because mainstream companies is just not going to F with them. They're not. They're not going to mess with them. So I don't need to mess with you. I got a platform that people love to come over and share their experience with. And I just hope that those drivers that do go over to controversial company, I, I, I do wish them success. I, I talked to a few of them so far. I talked to them. How's it going, bruh? Oh, it's going pretty good. I got me a good dispatcher, this, that, and the third. You lucky. Keep up the good work. Some drivers is not that fortunate. Some drivers go through four, five, six dispatchers. I don't even understand why you get that. Why is that? Why the one dispatcher couldn't take care of that driver? Why the second dispatcher can't take care of that driver? Why do they got to go through so many dispatchers so they could get taken care of? And then you have them running lights out, allegedly. Put them on tight deadlines. They had to have, they had to have that load the next day in order to get paid property if they're going to get paid at all. So no, sir. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about all the drivers that got $94 settlements after grossing 3000 or more. Let's talk about the way things are, gentlemen. Let's talk about drivers getting $140. Let's talk about drivers getting $71 after grossing $4,000 for you. After running hard, after running lights out, and then after all the deductions, all the expenses, the driver going home was $71, and then the people will come back and say, oh, well, they, that driver didn't know what to do. Well, of course that driver don't know what to do, especially if it's a four-month driver. The driver don't know nothing about leasing, nothing about how to handle business, and that's, and, and that's allegedly where the disadvantage comes in at. Y'all looking for people with four months of experience where y'all used to look for people that had two, three years or more. Maybe that's why the turnover rate is so freaking high. Have you thought about that? Maybe if you up the experience level and 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 clear up a lot of issues that you might be having with the company, having with some of these drivers, then then maybe then maybe the negativity will cease. That's just my opinion. I had conversations in the background. Hey, why don't you go over there and try and see for yourself? No, no. And I'm 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 just like the other drivers. I I take everything with a with a grain of salt. And yes, you you should go over there and and see for yourself because the experience varies. Just because you treated that driver wrong, I might not get treated wrong. That's how it was with me when I was at JNR. Well, yes, I used to be a paid actor over at JNR Shrugal. My experience was totally different, but when the people came in, they experienced different. I had a few people, a lot of people, a handful of people that when they came over to JNR Shrugal, they left out before the three, before they 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 60th month or 60th day. And did I get all my money from them? No. 
did I explain to them that that stuff is different? The pay is different? Yes. But again, when you got people promoting the company, they, they promote it a way so they can get paid. I did it. I promoted JNR Shrugal so that I can get my money. So that's how people are going to come on here and say, hey, Controversial Company is the best company I ever had. I make all this money. Look at my settlements. Look at this. Look at that. I get it. They making their money. And that's how a few of them are making their money. I don't have a problem with that. You come on the channel and talk about how good you're doing over at Controversial Company. Great. See if somebody else want to go over there and, and, and put their hand in the cookie jar. My advice is to the young jacks maybe go to a legitimate carrier before you go over to a to a black ops because the vibes and everything else is going to be totally different over there they're going to inspect you to already be business savvy when you get over there you can't just go over there with a company mindset but that's what they inspect allegedly they expect you to come over there with a company mindset so they can take advantage of you. And again, to the Black Ops company, okay? Think about this. Maybe, just maybe, if you up the requirements and the experience, maybe you will probably get a better batch of drivers. And not to say that the drivers that's already coming in is not a better batch of drivers but i'm just saying your turnover rate will probably be a little bit lower than what it is now you wouldn't have a high turnover rate. that's going to do it for this podcast man and again i i don't know for certain if this person is a bot or a troll or whatever the case but bro if you're a representative of the company you doing it wrong my guy you doing it wrong i'm just saying you you just doing it wrong Hopefully you'll do it right. Next time you decide to make some comments or, or text me, make sure you hit that spell check and proofread so that people can better understand of what you're trying to say. I'm not tech savvy myself because I, I, I'm not a fan of texts because you can't convey what you want to get out through texts. I'm just saying. But if you're going to use texts, make sure you slow down a little bit. Okay, slow down proofread spell check send and then maybe i could get a better understanding of what you trying to say that's going to do it for this episode everybody what do you guys think what do you guys think man what do you guys think i, I know the channel is one of the more most popular channels that has topics on black op companies but there's other channels and i'm not trying to throw other channels under the bus okay we're, we're not trying to do that but there's other platforms that 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 has topics of black op companies, not just ours. OK, not just ours. But but let me know your thoughts in the comments below, man. All right. That's going to do it. I appreciate you guys listening and I'll come back at you with another one.